Finally going to enjoy some HD TV. This standard definition stuff's for noobs in the man cave. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Jerry here, doing another video. I've been on a little bit of a streak lately creating videos. I hope to continue to have the time to do it. So, today, I just got a package in the mail from our buddies at Newegg. Um, give you a little background story as to what's in the box, although you probably figured it out from the title of the damn video. But anyways, I... Uh, You've seen all my, if you've seen all my videos, you've seen the man cave bedroom, you've seen that I have a 1080p, 120 hertz projector, um, really nice screen, I have, you know, a nice TV in my front room, I've got this awesome setup up here. I got a lot of HD video stuff, but I'm a little embarrassed to say that I have standard definition cable, at least until now. The reason for that being is I have a media center PCs running Windows 7, and I didn't have a really good way to record HD. Like you can get HD capture cards and then you can run the receiver to the HD capture card and use like an IR blaster and set up a bunch of crap to actually record HD TV. But it was just a big pain in the ass and I wanted to be able to record more than one show. So I just went the standard definition route because then I could just throw the capture cards into the box. Well, luckily for me, my new cable company, um, Wave Broadband, has just informed me that they have cable cards now. So I just ordered up a couple cable cards and a couple of receivers, and that's what's in the box right here. So let's go ahead and open this guy up and take a look at these. So finally, I'll be able to have HDTV and Media Center. So I'm actually pretty stoked about that. All right, so here we go. I got two of these guys in the box. There's one and there is two. Hopefully these are remotely in focus. I really need to get a monitor connected to this camera. But anyways, Infinity TV 4s by Seton. Uh, I opted to go with USB because my media center PCs are kind of a pain in the ass to, to work on and get to, at least one of them is. So I figured, and these get really hot, so I figured out oh, why not just leave them on the outside. So for you guys that don't know what this is, it's basically a USB tuner that you insert a cable card into, and I'll show you the cable cards later that you basically rent from the cable company. I think they charge you like two, two to five dollars a month for the cards. Well, you slide the card into this, you plug it into the computer, and then under Media Center, you have four HD capable tuners that can record all your programming, including your premium programming like HBO and stuff like that. So, I now have an HD cable package, nothing spectacular, just basic, um, and a means to get it on the TV. So let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at it, because I've honestly never seen one of these. And if you're wondering, yes, I'm using a really crazy looking pen to open boxes. I don't actually have a razor handy. Ugh, all goes with being lazy. Okay, anyways, let's open this up. All right, looks like we have a quick install guide and cable card activation support. So all cable operators must allow self-installation of cable cards and many cable providers have dedicated cable card support hotlines. Okay, so of course they don't list my, my company on here. Doesn't do me a lick of good. Let's hope it just goes smoothly. All right, this is looking pretty good. So here's the tuner. Looks like we have the tuner in here. Set that aside. Got a power brick, AC, DC, and a USB cable. So pretty much no frills. There's nothing else in the box besides these couple of components. So hopefully this doesn't turn into a nightmare trying to install. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. So, this is the unit right here. As you can see, coax plugs in there, the cable card plugs in there. It actually, the cable card just looks like a PCM CIA card or a card bus card. Like you remember, like we used to use in laptops, although we don't really need them anymore now that we got fast buses like USB and 1394, Firewire, whatever. Um, but anyways, this guy, actually it's pretty small. It looks to be really well built. I mean, it's all metal. I was expecting a plastic box. This is all, all metal up here. So, uh, Let's go ahead and uh, take it downstairs and hook it up to the Media Center PC and see if it works. All right, here we are downstairs. This is the living room of my house. That's my TV and the Media Center PC, the stereo receiver, my Xbox 360, a bunch of components and games and whatnot. And that is my awesome Crayola mat. And when I want a snack, there's my uh, little kitchen in case I ever get hungry. For those of you that think I'm not married and forever alone, um, we'll just we'll just say I'm like into toy kitchens. Then I guess that's that's not my kids. Then apparently, anyways, here it is. So let me go ahead and get this set up. We're gonna go ahead and hook up the cable card to this guy up here, and uh, 
see if it actually works or if I just bought myself a big frustration. All right, so for those of you wondering, this is a cable card. Uh, this one in particular is made by Motorola, but it doesn't really matter. But these are what you get from your cable company. So you just pay them a little bit of money, they bring these over, and I, this is what you put in the receivers to decode your programming package. For those of you wondering, here's what I used to have for capturing TVs. For standard definition, it's a HP dual TV tuner. You plug two coaxes into it, and it just is a standard, standard NTSC tuner. And I got the Seton guy, he's all plugged in. I got the cable card inserted in the back. Hopefully you guys can see that. And uh, now I'm gonna hook up the coax and uh, see if we can install drivers and all that good stuff. Well, it looks like it's searching for drivers on Windows Update. Let's see if this uh, saves me some hassle. Hopefully it's able to find the drivers because I don't feel like going to their website and downloading them. Come on, searching Windows Update. This is obviously the most exciting part of the video. And for those of you not watching this in 1080p, you probably can't even tell what's going on on the screen. So I'll tell you, I uh, plugged the unit in the computer and now it's searching Windows Update for the Centen InfiniTV USB driver. And it's still searching Windows Update. Well, Maybe it would have paid dividends to bring that piece of paper downstairs to tell me how to quickly install this. Ah, now it's switch. Oh, no driver found. Fail boat. Okay. Well, in this case, it looks like I'm going to have to go grab that sheet of paper and figure out where the website driver is. I will spare you guys all of that frustration. Looks like I had to go download drivers since Windows Update didn't have them. Well, would you look at that? It actually works. So... Um, quite a bit had to happen between the last video clip and this. I had to call the cable company and give them some information off the screen, and they had to send down an activation code. But uh, in the end, it all worked. I now have four HD TV tuners all coming off that box with one coax and one cable card. Um, I wanted to take a moment to send out a special thank to thanks to a fellow YouTuber, Woody's Gamer Tag. Look him up. He has an awesome channel. Chances are, if you're here, you probably already know who he is and watch his channel. But uh, he's actually uh, helped me out a little bit, and I appreciate it. So uh, I just wanted to call him out and get, get him some recognition. Not, not that he doesn't already have a massive amount. But at any rate, please subscribe if you haven't already and spread my videos around. If you haven't joined my Facebook group, please go over and do that. A little bit easier to communicate over there. And I look forward to having another.